Hello, I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy and sleep medicine at Children's Chess Clinic New Delhi. So today in this video, we will talk about inhalers and a very common myth about inhalers that inhalers are addictive. Now whenever we, we, we talk about a child who has asthma and we offer inhaler therapy to a child, most parents will have a very common question. Talks up inhalers, they are addictive. My child will become dependent on inhalers. So is it true? So the truth is that inhalers do not have any such medicine which can make a child dependent on inhalers. On the other hand, let's try and understand how inhalers would help the child. So in children who have asthma, and in children who have asthma, where the symptoms are frequent and they are coming back again and again, there is inflammation which is there inside the airway. And this inflammation which is there, it needs to be well controlled with inhaled medicines. Now because a lot of patients and children require uh, these medicines to be continued on a long term basis, parents often misinterpret this as addiction. Now let me give you an, a very common example. Supposingly I have high blood pressure. Now if I take the medicine occasionally or infrequently and obviously my blood pressure will not be very well. If I take it for a few days and then stop it, my blood pressure will again go up. Does it mean that I am addicted to the antihypertensive which I take? Well obviously not. What it means is that actually I need that medicine. So a lot of patients and children with asthma, they have inflammation inside their airways and they need the medicine to be well. Now what happens is that most patients are taking their asthma medicines off and on and that leads to frequent symptoms that lead to asthma flares and that lead to a very poor What are the benefits of using an inhaler? Let's understand this. So basically, inhalers contain the same medicine which is actually there in tablets or it is there in syllabus. Now the advantage is that the medicine which is there in the inhalers, when it comes out, it is in a very minute quantity. It is in micrograms. And the mechanism is that the inhalers can deliver the medicine in the lungs in a very proper manner and it can reach to the deepest part of the air. Now when this happens, the response is quick, the response is good, the amount of medicine which is needed is very less and hence the side effects are nil. Now in addition, the medicine because it is not going through the oral route, there is no absorption in the body. So the amount of medicine which reaches to the body is very less, it just remains inside the lungs. Now in addition, the inhalers carry medicine which is like around 200 doses, so you don't need to fill up the medicine again and again. The inhalers are very small and compact in size, they are easy to carry. Uh, they do not require any maintenance, you can take them anywhere you can keep them anywhere and hence inhalers are the best choice for a child who has asthma. Now a very common question parents would ask, Dr. Sir, if, if the child takes these inhalers for a long time, are there any side effects? So as I said, the amount of medicine which reaches to the airways is, is very less. And hence, there are actually no side effects which are seen even if the child takes inhalers for a long time. There is good amount of research which tells us that even if the child takes inhalers continuously for years, there are absolutely no side effects. The other thing which everyone should know is that inhalers are the backbone of treatment for asthma. Throughout the world, in, in all developed countries, which might be US, it might be Canada, it might be Australia, 
the UK, the whole of Europe. Most children are on inhalers. They use nebulizers very infrequently and hence we, we have to understand that inhalers are not addictive to children. They are the best choice for treatment with asthma. So for more information, you can log on to our website on